extreme conflict with my mother and her fiancé, their dogs, and my toddler. Too long didn't read, my mom's dog tried to attack my toddler, she is rug sweeping and my mom's fiancé is being aggressive, attacking my parenting, and dismissive of the dog that tried to attack my child. My mom watched it all and said nothing. I want to keep this as short and concise as I can, I apologize if this gets long. My mom has always had an issue with taking in more animals than she can care for, and now that is at its head with five large dogs and an outdoor cat. They are all in various stages of poor health, some are so sickly now that they are in constant pain. I moved in with my child several months ago, due to some issues in our life and needing to get on my feet. My mother insisted I move home to save money, and so she could see her grandchild. For a while it was great, my little one got to have fun experiencing new food, baked sweets, and laughing and playing with the healthier dogs. There haven't been many issues with aggression at all, besides the dogs amongst themselves. My mother nor her fiancé train the animals. They run the house. Things gradually got more tense as the dogs moved into what became my toddler's play area and then getting aggressive if they tried to approach the toys to play. I mentioned this, shooed the dogs away myself so they could have a safe place out of the playroom. This began the conflict, because I was mean for redirecting the dogs somewhere that my child doesn't play which is just one room in the house. The rest is theirs besides the room I share with my child. It came to a head last night, while my mother was making dinner. The dogs crowded the kitchen, I was trying to get my child dinner, and the largest dog lunged and tried to attack my child's face. My child is only two years old. I snapped, I yelled at the dog to get out of the kitchen. It circled my mother's legs and stayed there. I then told my mom, she was right there but she said since she didn't see it, she doesn't know what I want her to do. I told her to discipline her dog and took my child upstairs to our room. Eventually my mom's fiancé came in, asked what was wrong, and I told him what happened. He said nothing and left. My mom came up after and started a fight, because he has only been aggressive this once the dog isn't feeling good he's normally so nice. I told her that he may have been a non-aggressive dog prior to this, but today he tried to attack a toddler and provoked. You need to train your dogs and figure out what to do with the dog that tried to attack. She told me not to lecture her and left. When I tried to get my child's dinner again, I was cornered with my child on my hip by my mum and her fiancé. It boiled down to the fiancé screaming at me for 40 minutes, telling me I was a bad mother who probably didn't see what my child did to provoke the dog because I was probably distracted, and then more stupid insults and defense for them. My mum said nothing when he screamed at me. She just stood there. All I had to say was that if you cannot control a dog, and if it is attacking people you need to make a hard choice and have the animal looked and trained. It got worse when her fiancé then started stomping around the kitchen, clapping his hands, and screaming OK dog let's go out back time to fucking kill you. Come on, let's go shoot you in the fucking head, dog. He insisted we, child and I, leave since we hate the dogs so much. His outburst scared my child to tears. I took my child's dinner, left back upstairs to our room, and stayed there the night. I called my grandmother so I could calm down because I was crying hard and having a hard time keeping control of my panic from the time the dog tried at 5.30 p.m. all the way to 8 when I called her. My mother left to my grandmother's when I called and told her the entire interaction was a lie and that I was screaming at them over how much I hate the dogs. My ex offered me a place to stay for our child, temporarily, with him. He offered to help me get an apartment for the two of us, and I'm going to be taking that offer. Last night was too much. My mother is acting like everything is normal, but she has always managed to forget the problems she creates and ignores. She forgets, and tells me nothing that's happened ever actually happened. I wanted to keep a relationship with her, but she is choosing a dog and a fiancé she has wanted to leave for years over her daughter who has stuck up for her for years, and her grandchild. I don't know where to go from here. I'm at a point considering never speaking to her, or giving her access to my child, when I leave. I just want advice. My head hurts and I'm more than a little heartbroken over my bullshit situation. Call animal control because they're neglecting the dogs, then move the hell out and don't come back. Ignore her until she apologizes and even after then act coldly towards her until she is genuinely sorry. Until then get a better situation for you and baby. 
You don't need to decide right now whether to forgive your mother, but you do need to get you and your child out right now, for your baby's safety. Your mama let her finance scream at you, up just for a moment but for over 30 minutes, yep you need put of that house ASAP, this, your mom doesn't even know how to take care of a dog, dogs need no provoking time behave abnormally, it could be in pain or even have dementia. You're lucky to have such a kind ex. Keep your child away from the dogs until the move, and try to keep interactions with the fiancé to a minimum. Your mother and ex sound offended at the notion of being told to do anything differently in their own home by someone staying with them, so I'd take some space for now. In the future if you have interactions with your mother at your home, don't allow the dogs there, and don't allow her or her fiancé to scream at you. Just as they've decided their home means their rules, your home means your rules. Feel free to not invite the fiancé over if he's a problem. You wouldn't allow your mother to have weekends or other forms of visitation alone with the child in the coming years unless you've established those dogs are safe, that she's putting up gates, and that she's taking your child's safety seriously. Her home isn't child safe. She's free to change things if she wants to, but you shouldn't allow anything that you don't feel safe about. I'm so sorry this happened. You're doing the right thing by leaving. Staying with your mother and her fiancé is unsafe on multiple levels. Because of the dogs, and because of the fiancé screaming at you and your child. That is abuse. It's your responsibility as a parent to protect your child from abuse, and I'm proud of you for having the courage to make arrangements to get out of that toxic situation. My advice? Beyond following through with leaving, is to not let your child ever stay over with your mother and her fiancé, ever. I would say unsupervised, but your mother and her fiancé have proven incapable of being safe even when you're there to supervise. I would at most say that if you want to keep your mom in your and your child's life, you should make sure it's only from a distance, phone slash messaging slash email slash video chat, or only in public places or your own home, without the animals present. Never at her place because it's simply not safe. I would also not interact with the fiancé or let him around your child ever again, regardless of what that would mean for your relationship with your mother. Beyond simply being incredibly disrespectful, what the fiancé did, again, was unsafe and abusive and is absolutely not something you should tolerate. Full stop. It's not safe for your child, and your child has to come first. Is religion worth breaking up for? My 21 MGF 22F have been dating for two years. Beginning was gorgeous of course honeymoon period. We were doing great and all of a sudden a few months in. Her mom wants to go back to being in a religion she was raised in it but took a 17 year break from it. I am pretty much forced into it. At first it wasn't bad but I had a crazy amount of doubts. My GF follows her mom like she's our lord and savior. My GF immediately jumps in with her. I am a mad lover of science and I struggle to accept a lot of things in this religion. I don't really like it too much. I love this girl and I wanted to marry her. But then her mom said that I had to get baptized in order for us to get married. I had to change my core beliefs and I changed as a person. My GF didn't like that I changed from when we first started dating. But I couldn't do it. I can't change how I grew up what I believe. So I broke up with her. I am madly in love with her and she is as well but this religion is is too hard to fake and lie to people about it. Yeah religion is a worthy reason to break up for. It is a common reason too. I need a little info. What religion? And I can assume but want clarification, you are atheist, not an atheist. I'm just not a religious person. Like I don't want to spend my Sunday mornings going to church. Jehovah's Witness. Yeah that's probably one of the big reasons to break up with someone. At least now you can find someone who shares your beliefs. Fundamental differences, core values, are always a valid reason to break up. I think the biggest issue here isn't necessarily religion. People from different religions can be in a relationship fine, 
but blindly jumping into a religion because of a friends or family member and then letting them dictate how you live your life and what you have to do is unhealthy regardless of whether religion is involved. Her and her mom have some serious issues and I think that regardless of religion they would have ended up trying to force you into things you were not comfortable with and that is not a healthy relationship. That's what I thought too. I wish she didn't follow her mom so hard. Her mom literally makes all her choices. My GF slash X now would ask her mom everything and her answer was word from the heavens. That really bugs me that her mom said I have to get baptized and she accepted it like it's normal for her mom to make choices for me. My hookup peed the bed on my birthday. I've 22 F been talking and hooking up with this guy 22 meters for a little bit now this was only our third time having sex last night was my birthday and i invited my friends and this guy over to celebrate we are taking shots and we're pretty drunk but not blacking out status i've defiantly seen him more intoxicated than this we take things up to my room and start having playful fun sex i've always had great sex with him after we are laying down he tells me that he wants to be more serious Cut to 5.45 am and I hear the front door closing behind him and me in my soaking wet bed he's never left without saying goodbye before. At first I thought it was sweat but quickly snapped out of it, it was definitely pee. I strip my sheets off and see it's deep in my foam mattress. How do I approach this situation? I genuinely have feelings for this kid and like spending time with him. And I'm also not the type to judge and make him feel embarrassed about what happened. But I don't like the fact that he didn't wake me up and acknowledge what he did and offer to help me at least clean it or offer to pay to replace it. This happened two hours ago and I haven't heard anything from him. Update, it's now 8.30 pm and he's opened my messages telling him I'm not mad I just want to talk about it. He didn't respond and blocked my number and all socials. Thank all of you who left such helpful advice. This definitely was a live and learn situation and from here on out I will always put a protector on my foam mattress lol. 1. Place a folded towel on the stain and gently press down to soak up any remaining moisture. Flip the towel and repeat the process. 2. Take baking soda and sprinkle on the stain to absorb the remaining moisture. A heavy hand is okay here. Baking soda will also help with the smell. 3. Make a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and a few drops of Dawn in a spray bottle. Spray the baking soda until it has absorbed the mixture. 4. Let air dry and vacuum. Usually takes care of the problem in one go but, you can repeat if necessary. Backslash, may discolor colored mattresses, just a heads up exclamation mark backslash. I have three boys, a cat, a dog, and a husband who recently peed our brand new, memory foam mattress. It works, and I would leave the boy behind, a man would be embarrassed but, he would apologize and help you strip the bed and clean up. Maybe even have the ability to laugh at himself. We're all adults here. He literally peed and ran away. Edit, only my husband peed the new foam mattress. Cleaned it up and was a total gentleman about it. I have one son who's a deep sleeper and has a big bladder. Not a great combo. Oof, foam beds stay wet forever when they get wet lol that sucks. Maybe try standing it up somehow and put some fans blowing on it to dry it out. Shitty that he dipped out like that though, was probably just too embarrassed. You can buy a mattress protector in case you start seeing each other again. Wiz Khalifa hightailed it out of there because he doesn't want to pay for a new bed. This is your third time having sex and probably your last unless you're willing to overlook the whole thing. He's mortified and if he's like the average 22 yo, can't afford to buy you a mattress. I would just let him do whatever he's going to do. Hopefully apologize and offer to pay but he won't. No sense in enraging yourself and chase after him for money that maybe he doesn't have. It was an accident. But you have every right to be pissed off because frankly, you were pissed on. How he deals with this once the hangover has passed will tell you what you need to know about his character. For now give him a bit of time. You're not fully sober the 12 hours following such extreme drunkenness that you visited Tinkletown on someone else's bed. FWB isn't free sex. People are still humans and situations happen.